is Cryptorium again, and sorry, I just wanted to say that I made my finally made my own characters, and this is the guy character. I'm not sure if I'm finished with him yet, but but I also made a girl character, and her name is Tashi. Don't want to give too much away though, but I haven't came up with a name for him, so I'm still thinking, looking up names. Japanese names so today we'll just be drawing hair so the first part that you want to know that uh, hair does not have spaces between them, like large spaces because it's just not right and another thing is that you don't want it to come like so far up that it looks weird and you don't want it to go so far down that the, you can't even have any room for the eyes. So, um, so this part of the video is just uh, giving a demonstration about hair. And later on in the video, I'll give you what to do and what not to do uh, concerning hair tips. <clears throat> if you hear any noise in the bathroom, uh, back room, or in the back, uh, background, that's just the TV. Because when I watch videos, it's kind of disturbing to me, so... Okay, yeah, that's my sister's TV. I'm not f too familiar about drawing boy hair, so um, if you could, you could leave a comment or give me tips about how to do it because, or give me me some pointers because I'm not very advanced when it comes to drawing um, boy hair. So yeah, just leave a comment if you can, or if you see it, because my channel is not that visible. Because I just got it last month. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's hard for me to um, hold the camera with my left hand and right with my um, right hand. But if I do it the other way, like if I write with my left hand and do it my, with my right hand, it won't make any sense. So. Okay, but you can skip um, this part uh, uh, during the tutorial because I'm still adding, changing, deleting things in this part. So you could go ahead and uh, skip ahead if you like to. <clears throat> if I could, I'd try to do time lapse, but I don't know how to. It's kind of slow, boring. Okay, so I think I got the hair. Yeah, and there's always room for improvement. That's why I have to keep on reminding myself. But I think I did good this time. I think I did good. Okay, so that's how you draw a boy hair. Now for the pointers. Okay, so the pointer... Pointer number one. Never have, like... <clears throat> sorry. Never have the hair um, so far above the head that you had to come all the way down. Because it doesn't look that good. And don't have it too close to the head. Just have it maybe in the middle. Number two, never have them far away or spaced out. Because that just doesn't make any sense. And it seems like you're a beginner when you're actually um, in the middle of the processing uh, artist thing. And third, <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, with the head, it doesn't matter what shape you have, as long as you have the good shape at the end. And second, you always want to have, like, the neck. I know I'm getting off of a subject of hair, but giving you pointers on everything. But, um, the neck, it shouldn't be so curvy like, like this, or not too straight like that. But maybe just a little curve, something, oh, something like that. This, good, wrong, because I didn't show it. Yeah, that's how you draw it, and it doesn't matter what type of paper you use, or if you want to color with Copics, it doesn't matter. Um, just matters if you can just draw it well enough and be skilled well enough to just do it. That's my advice. Man, I broke my pencil. <laughs> it's just sad, because this is new, too. I broke it. But, um, yeah. Uh, guess that's it this time. Oh, yeah. And if you want to shade the hair, you can. But, um, just leave a little space at the top to make it seem like light is gleaming down on it. Kind of like this. I'm drawing with this because I broke my pencil. Something like that. And leave this space open. Let me zoom in. Okay. Leave that space open. Right there. And just shade in the rest. I guess that's it this time. Oh, yeah. And when you're drawing boy hair, you don't want it very long. Because it'll make it seem like the boy's a girl. And that's not good. Um. Uh, yeah. Me and, yeah, that's it. And make sure the features, if you're drawing a man, a boy, make sure the features is a boy, if you know what I mean. And if you're drawing a girl, make sure the features are feminine, not mannish or harsh. And the reason you could do that is by making, since boys don't have like huge bouncy eyes like girls do, uh, just make like small little slanted eyes like this, because most manga um, boys have eyes like that, and most uh, female characters have wide eyes. So make sure you make the, um, the facial features uh, recognizable. Yeah. And at the end, just erase all the details, and there you go. Voila. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and bye. Hopefully, to, hopefully